We bet many of you like astronomy, right, TikTokers? Who doesn't enjoy looking at a clear and starry night sky? Well, then you're in luck, because in the upcoming days, one of the most famous and beautiful cosmic phenomena is taking place. The Perseids meteor shower, also known as the Tears of St. Lorenzo. You might think these are shooting stars, but that isn't the case. While meteors are rocks that can be dozens of meters in size, the Perseids are stardust particles the size of a grain of sand. These particles are debris that the swift turtle comet leaves after traveling around the Sun. It was discovered in 1862, has a diameter of 26 kilometers, and it orbits around the Sun for periods of 135 years. Those particles coming from the meteor enter our atmosphere at about 210,000 km per hour. Their speed and friction are so high that they evaporate in an instant, producing a luminous effect. They usually appear between July 16th and August 24th. Although their highest period of activity and the best time to see them is between August 11th and 13th, especially if they coincide with the new moon. Their name comes from the Perseus constellation because in ancient times it was believed they came from that constellation due to their trajectory. And the term is still being used nowadays, although they are also called Tears of St. Lorenzo, since they coincide with the Feast of St. Lorenzo's holiday. Since the Middle Ages, the Perseids have been associated with the tears he poured when he died a martyr, by being burned alive. Now, you might be asking, what can I do to see them? The first thing you need to know is that if you live in the Northern Hemisphere, then it will be easier for you to see them. However, that doesn't mean you can't see them from the South. It's just that you will only be able to see them after midnight and the frequency and quantity of light points will be lower. If you want to see them, it's always better to do it away from the cities places with no light pollution and where the horizon is free from obstacles. The moonlight can also prevent you from seeing the weaker particles, so it's better to look away from it. It is not necessary to use a telescope or binoculars, and it's better to cover the sky with your plain sight. Remember to pack something to eat and drink, and also bring a chair or something to lay on, since it will be a long night. Arrive to your chosen destination ahead of time and let your sight get used to the darkness. And most importantly, be patient. The Perseids could appear at any moment and it might take a while for any particle to show up. However, once you see them, you will realize it was all worth it. Tick and Tag already have everything ready for that special night. How about you? Share with us your best photos of the Perseids. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!